I have a very spirited discussion going on on my Facebook page right now with many people who want the state reopened, maybe immediately. And then there's obviously the people who are listening to the Dr. Fauci's who are saying, listen, slow this down. Let's do this safely. Are you hearing the people's angst? Yeah, of course. Look, we all have angst. We have many more um, questions and answers. I have these same debates in my own house with our own kids. Why can't we get back with our friends and go to school and get out there? But, um, you know, I think that the overwhelming majority of people in our state, in our nation, think that we're doing the right thing, staying the course. I saw a survey last night that says 80 percent of the public um, bipartisan support the stay at home orders and going back too early is risky. I mean, even the president of the United States last night, President Trump, um, cast doubt of what they're doing in Georgia, which is opening up the gyms and restaurants and clubs and so forth. So, you know, this is serious business. And, um, you know, if we get at it too early and open it up too early, it has the potential to really wreak havoc down the road with lives, but also our economy. You know, we don't want to destroy our economy for multiple years. And mm -hmm. so we're trying to uh, limit the pain. So the next text coming in uh, for you, Kevin, is when would you imagine, based on what you're seeing with the data, University of Washington has a lot of data, uh, you know, the CDC and whatnot, when would you imagine the stay-at-home order would end? Let's be specific to California. Yeah. Well, our, our public health people in Sacramento say that the peak is right now. So we're, ex we're, we're having the, the peak of hospitalizations actually this week. So imagine if you go on a big hike. You, there's the peak of the mountain. So you go to the summit and you climb back down. So we've got to the peak and we can't just open up right after the peak. We've got to start going back down. So I would think in maybe three to four weeks, like mid-May, we'd kind of reevaluate where we're at. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to have a few things. We need to dramatically ramp up our testing to see who actually, if people have symptoms, if they have it, and conversely, um, who has immunity. And that same that same. Uh, point, we'll get closer to what we call herd immunity to make it um, safer in uh, in the region. Uh, right, one thing right. to note is Sacramento has done such a great job that uh, we flattened the curve that we're not like New York, where they're almost to the herd immunity because so many people got in the first place. So to answer your question, I think in a few weeks, there's, there's a chance looking at these metrics that we would reevaluate and change some of the rules, but it wouldn't be business as usual. It would be open it up, the, 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 the economy opening up, the, the community, but with restrictions, but restrictions on a lesser scale. Right. No, I think I, I'm, I'm glad you gave us a general idea. Mid-May seems to be the goal for a lot of people. And you, do, you did mention a peak. I would think the peak in New York City is a much higher mountain to come down from than the peak that we're dealing with, say, in Placerville or in Houston or places like that where it's a, it's a relatively low peak, and they, they would sooner get back to the ground, yes, than uh, a situation like New York City. Yeah, well, I guess if you look at a chart, even if it's 1,000 a, a metrics mm -hmm. or 100, it's still the top and going back down is right. probably the same, the same shape. So it's still going to take time um, to come back uh, down fr from the peak. But mm -hmm. we, are, we are around the corner from having these um, re-evaluations, but... We need to have a couple things in place, and one of these things are these are these tests, and we need to make sure that okay. people are tested that are showing symptoms, but also these immunity tests as well. So, um, you know, we're doing well, but it's not over, and people should, I think, just realize that we're, we're in this for a little bit longer. Right. Okay, you mentioned uh, the, the state of Georgia, which is catching a lot of heat for reopening, you know, spas and gyms and, and other things. For us in greater Sacramento, what would you assume would be the first things to open that are closed right now? Well, I think we'd open, um, you know, places of business where people can go to work, like a newsroom behind you, but have um, more uh, rules and protocols about um, spacing between individuals, have, you know, you know, make sure that people are constantly washing their hands and, and so forth. Um, literally having people check their their, uh, their temperature to see if they have symptoms and if they do stay home and then have people take these um, uh, tests as well before they go to work. Um, in the public, maybe we can open restaurants, but the restaurant would be at 50% capacity. Right. You know? So they would have half the tables in there. You'd have menus that would be disposable menus mm -hmm. on paper. 
Um, so we would slowly reopen public places, but um, things like nightclubs and gyms where there's people in close proximity, um, graduations, concerts, that that's going to be a while because that yeah, I think you have people too close to each other. Yeah, 